Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Okay, Miss Dowager of the Court. Who are you? We'll talk later. I await your signal. The signal to do what? To catch the assassin? Wait, what? What is our signal? Do we do we like wave across the room? I, I didn't know there was a signal. So we end up talking to Leliana by simply exiting the room we were in and going back to the vestibule again. The ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Celine is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. Depending on our choices, keep in mind Leliana is fully aware we A. traveled to and came back from the future, B. spoke with the dead version of her most important person in the world, and C. have people called mages who can do supernatural things. This is not rubbish. This is normal and in some cases somewhat extraordinary. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. While it's nice to have a new suspect, that's good to know. And, but how about the Grand Duchess of Leeds, who is very close to the Empress and who is her cousin, and whom this ball wouldn't have happened if not for her? That also seems like a good lead. When the circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. That's interesting because it explains the nature of how Orle treats and regards mages. They were once accepted, but due to the Mage Templar War, are now considered apostates. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. Wait, both leads? What other lead are you referring to? What are you talking about? You didn't mention anyone else. Who's this second party? Oh, hello there, creepy guard guy. Are you purposely running into Cassandra there and shaking your leg like a dog? Ten, their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption, and deceit as delightful amusement. Is it true the Inquisitor was any doubt of the fate by Andresti? No, it was some weird fade spirit thing that helped us escape, and why can't I just tell anyone the story? Is it true the Inquisitor was any doubt of the fate with by Andresti? Is this seriously going to repeat itself over again? What in the maker's name is wrong with these guards? So while the man with the dizzying dance steps prances around Eliana, we can share our side quest of dirty secrets. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. And what kind of leverage would that be? Hey, we have some dirty secrets on you random people, so do what we say, okay? What? Sign of our Tevinta infiltrator, I'm afraid. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Sure, see you, shoe lady and crazy dancing man. Is it true the Inquisitor was any doubt of the- Yes, it's true. Your god sent me. God wills it! So we use the eavesdrop option properly this time with some elven servants. The package is in the guest wing, upper room. The one of the garden, statuette. Yes. Did we get confirmation of the missing agents? Tell Briala we need a cleanup. I kind of get the feeling someone didn't just spill a drink. Okay, now it is time to act. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Cullen. Oh, he's not here. Well, someone has been murdered. Let's go give our signal to Cullen and go apprehend these servants, while someone else goes and finds the body they were talking about. Or better yet, we go find the body first and play along with them to get more info out of them. But we can't do any of that because... the game won't let us. Interesting. Boring. By having a stand in a circle against the wall, the game has officially just wasted our time. So we enter the garden and meet these three handmaidens of the Empress. And the Empress will support us if we stop Gaspard. But the Empress will support us anyway whenever the negotiations are over. Okay, so everyone's going to support us. 
So why should we support anyone? Because the Empress is the greatest diplomat and Gaspard has support of the army. So why should I choose one over the other since I have no understanding of their scope or abilities? What's the value in either of them? What's in it for me or the Inquisition? All we know is that Selene is going to die, but how is that bad? And wouldn't that mean Gaspard takes over naturally anyway? But we have taken enough of your time. And you sound exactly like the Empress. Come on, could they at least have gotten a different voice actor to have another bad French accent? We encounter another statuette door and eavesdrop on another conversation. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet apostate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heel, if you ask me. Now there's a somewhat convoluted conversation we just overheard. It would be nice to get some info out of these people on where this blood was at the very least. But the game won't let us. And here it is, the game-breaking moment. It's, this is the, the fulcrum upon which the entire facade is toast. You are literally climbing a piece of a palace wall for all to see like a, a drunken monkey in the garden. You can jump on furniture and lose court approval, but climbing up a three-story garden wall ladder thing, well, no one just, no one bats an eye. Can't anyone look up beyond their pretentious heart to see through masks? Are their spines and necks fixed in place? The head of the Inquisition is climbing up the palace walls for who knows what reason. Is he drunk? Is the Inquisitor pressed for cash and is about to steal from the palace? Is he going to go kill someone? This is crazy. Anyone caught doing this would be thrown in the prison or be the ridicule of the year. Why couldn't the developers just make a staircase? Like down the hall or something, and no one's allowed to go up it, but you know it's blocked off by like a velvet rope, and you just jump over. No, you you got to climb up a, a garden ladder that everyone can see, but apparently no one cares. This must be the standard method of traipsing about in the palace for killing or for rendezvous. Let's not forget, at the base of this particular palace wall, is a magical fountain where you throw in special kinds of coins, and Everyone likes you more. Why? Because it's a magical fountain. But you can't use normal money. That that won't work. You need special money. Sorry, Fable 3 players. And of course, you can't steal money from the fountain. Uh, they just, they would hate you, I guess. They'd have the opposite effect. Even though they can't seem to see you climb up a three-story wall ladder attached to the palace. And what happens when you get to the top of the palace? Well, no one from the party can see you anymore. Oh, where did the Inquisitor go? Well, he was just next to that magical fountain, and now he disappeared. I guess we're going to slowly dislike him now, because he's no longer in the room we thought he was, even though every other room he's not in, those people don't know where he is anyway. It's like you have this GPS signal just disappeared off the radar of everyone. In case you can't get what I'm really saying here, this entire event breaks the believability of the scene, the chapter, and yes, the game. If time travel wasn't enough, or you simply chose to side with the Templars, anyone paying attention to this event, it would do you in.